topic. So welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today in this next topic, we're going to talk about Tesla is offering a $5,000 trading credit, but only on these two models and only on these two models that have specific qualification on those two models. So it's very, very granular, but uh, you know, this gets it, you know, this gets me excited a little bit because maybe they're just trying to test certain things. You know, they, they've gotten you know, a lot of tools and a lot of tricks in their bags. And so maybe if they roll this out, it's successful, then they can roll it out to other vehicles and then the on and on. On it goes but it's good to see that they're at least trying different strategies even though you know well they do have a demand problem for these two vehicles so we'll certainly talk about it uh for sure but if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking as i like to call it but basically just getting the best on tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your tesla so if you're interested in any of that please hit that subscribe and today's video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel but more on that later and actually someone just joined so thank you you must be watching right now thank you to kevin for joining the patreon and supporting uh the cause hopefully the guide is beneficial to you and you can uh, get some value out of that but let's just jump into it and let's just jump into it shout out to sawyer merit breaking the news always on top of it current tesla model s and model x owners with active keyword here is active unlimited free supercharging are now eligible for an additional five thousand dollars toward their trade in value to qualify owners must trade in their model s or x with the unlimited free supercharger and it's charging and purchase a brand new model s or x here's a article from tesla Roddy, basically like, summarizing the same thing but the cool thing is there actually is a page on the website of tesla where you can go through and see all the different details and so the the, the caveat is you have to have a model s or x that has free supercharging and so the question is like if your model s or x has that that free supercharging is it worth it to trade it in i mean we're talking like really old model s and x's well not really old but like 2013 model s's 2016 model x's that potentially could have that free supercharging but if you you got free unlimited supercharging you can essentially like grab like a thousand or two thousand dollars of value every single year because there's there's certain superchargers that have you know high rates like 48 cents a kilowatt or even 50 cents so you could easily like just go fill up and you'll gain 20 to 25 dollars in value each time and if you're doing that every single week or twice a week that can that can add up that's for sure maybe even more than like a five thousand dollar benefit but at the end of the day, if your Tesla is starting to have issues, if it's starting to bug you out and you want the latest and greatest, I mean, we do know that the Model S and the X uh, has, a, has a demand problem, right? And why we say that? Because there are 400 brand new Model Xs, all with or most of them with massive discounts like seven, eight, even ten thousand dollars on this one right here with only nine hundred and nine miles. And so, and then at the same thing on the Model S side, there's tons of Model S's with seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand dollar discounts as well on this side. So, does Tesla have a demand problem for the Model S and the X? Yes, they do. And so are they testing certain things to try and drive up more sales? Yes, they are. Do we think a price decrease is potentially coming in the tune of maybe five to $10,000? I would say yes, because you know we've referenced this a ton, but here's a price tracking chart that goes over all the historical base prices that's listed from Tesla at any point in time. And the Model S in the current refresh was as low as 90, or Model X was as low as $90,000. And the Model S when the refresh came out was as low as $80,000. Of course, right now the Model S long range is $95,000. So about another $15,000 more upward swing. And the Model X, is $20,000 more than what it was when it first came out. So potentially, you know, there might be a price decrease. Uh, if you're getting $10,000 off, you know, you need a car, you know, I would always say just try and lock one down and take delivery, but there is a ton available for you to try and take delivery of. And, you know, maybe $5,000 is, you know, a good deal at the end of it because let's say you've got a 2013 Model S that has free supercharging. I don't know the exact years on which ones actually have it, but that's probably only worth like twenty to $30,000. An extra $5,000, 
that's pretty decent. Uh, that's pretty decent. But going through some of this, uh, you have to have the full. You have to have the unlimited free supercharging. You have to order a Model S and the X. Uh, trading is determined by Tesla, which you know there could be some drawbacks on that as well. But this one's interesting. Am I still eligible for the credit if I order a Model Three or Model Y? And uh, no, you cannot try and get a Model Three or Model Y with it. You have to buy a Model S or X. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know if you have a Model S or X right now, and this is swaying you to at least go see the numbers and it should always at the end of the day but uh, definitely some pretty interesting stuff uh, let, let me know your your thoughts on it. But we're going to jump into some of the comments and some of the questions. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is a Patreon link where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you schedule the call, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price, including put credit unions on that list that have interest rates as low as 2.5% to 3.2% to 4% from 60 to 80 months. Months. So definitely check that out if you are interested. But uh, yeah, welcome. We're going to jump into another topic.